Hi, this is Jade, and this is going to be, um, well, a get well video for Anthony Kiedis that my dear friend Shannon is going to make. So, this video is going to be kind of long, and it's going to be explaining, um, the, basically the impact and importance the Red Hot Chili Peppers have had on me. And I am very sorry I look like crap because it is 10.06 p.m. I think I'm supposed to be asleep. Screw it. And my hair looks like crap. Okay, so, one of the main reasons why, okay, I'll tell you how I got into the Red Hot Chili Peppers first. I've been listening to them probably my whole life, because my dad was a big fan, huge fan of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and one of his first albums he's ever bought actually was Californication, when it came out. So, um, for those who don't know, my father has died. My father died when I, in 2001 when I was only three years old. I'm 13 right now. So, yes, um, and he, I, I guess he would play it when I was younger, because when I got older and I heard, I keep hearing Red Hot Chili Peppers songs, but I never knew that they were the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and I would be like, I remember this song, and for some reason I would even sing along. So, my, one day when I was in fifth grade, um, 10, I, 10, 11, I guess, um, my mother got me Rock Band, the video game for Christmas, so I was playing Danny California, um, and it became my favorite song, and I would play it nonstop, that was like the only song I was good at, and I played it nonstop until I was on, I, until I was like, got a hundred percent on Expert, and I said, this song is really, really good, let me look up the Red Hot Chili Peppers, maybe, maybe I could get into them, and then I looked them up, and I started listening to all their songs. I'm like, why do I recognize this? Why do I recognize this, too? And then I realized I grew up with them. And um, I started listening to them ever since. And when I was 12, I found out about a radio station called 1019 RXP back in the New York area. I was from New Jersey. And I listened, and one of the first songs that came up was Danny California. I've been, and then I listened to that radio every day, all day, for the next two, for about the next two years. And through them, I found out many amazing music, more even more Red Hot Chili Peppers. And by the time I turned 13, I was a full-blown Red Hot Chili Peppers fanatic. So, the Red Hot Chili Peppers mean so much to me because they are my, they were my father's, one of my father's favorite bands. As, and then it became mine, and I remember an amazing moment that probably sealed my connection with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I was 12, and my favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers song since I heard it was Soul to Squeeze. I found it out on YouTube, then they started, then they were playing it on RXP. So, I would, so then every time I heard it, by the second listen, I already knew all the words. And every time it came on, I would stop whatever I was doing, turn up the radio, and just listen. And that song meant so much to me. For some reason, like, I would almost be to tears whenever I would listen to, um, whenever I was listening to them. And whenever I listened to that song, I just, yeah, I felt like I wanted to burst into tears. So one day, I was sitting in my room. I muted the television because Soul of Squeeze came on. And I started just singing. And then my mom came into the room. And she said, and then she just like sat by the door and she just looked at me and smiled and said, oh, that was your father's favorite song. He would always sing it to you. I was like, what? And it was, it was just a weird coincidence. It was my favorite song and I found out it was his too. And that just, yeah, sealed my love for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Red Hot Chili Peppers have saved my life. When I was in fifth grade, I was bullied severely to the point where... I wanted to kill myself. And yes, I will say it. I have never self-harmed. Never have I ever. And yeah, I never self-harmed up to this day. But I would always feel like, what's the use of being here? If all people are going to do is just piss me off and just, you know, annoy me. So I ended up look. so I started um listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers one night and I was thinking, should I kill myself? Then all of a sudden, um, I put my iPod on shuffle and Soul to Squeeze came on. I looked at my, I looked at myself. Then I was like, no. My, I already lost my father. I'm not gonna lose myself. 
and I simply, the next day, I just came into school with a bright smile on my face, and that pretty much changed how I felt. And the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I feel that their music understands me better than any other music. Their lyrics, what, their lyrics just comfort me. They help me feel like I belong to something. And all the Red Hot Chili Peppers fans that are my friends, we're like one big family. And they care about me and they love me and I love them back. And I'm so blessed to know this band and know my friends that love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And Anthony Kiedis has been a very influential part of my life, and I count him as one of my, I don't, I know that Anthony is not like hero, so I would say he was one of my greatest life inspirations, because he's helped, after reading his book Scar Tissue, I got a better understanding of who he was. He wasn't a rock star, he wasn't a musician, he was just Anthony Kiedis. And he's been through everything from drugs to heartbreak to the death of everything from like his stepdad to his one of his best friends. And he got through all of that just by pushing on and making music, which is the reason why I'm starting to, which is the reason why I'm going to start making music. Because I believe that Anthony has shown me that, sure, someone you love died. Sure, not a lot of people like you, but that doesn't mean you you have to feel you have to start believing them. Anthony has done so much for me, and I hope that one day, if I ever get to meet him, the the first thing I would just say is thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you for helping me feel like myself. Thank you for me being able to express my sexuality, my my everything from my sexuality to my just my originality, my creativity, and thank you for introducing me to a whole nother world and a whole nother style of music that I never thought I'd be able to recognize you for. And thank you for helping me get a better understanding of everything around me because he believes that everything happens for a reason. He doesn't conform to just one idea, and he just stays. He stayed true to himself all these years. And I hope that, and I hope, and I hope that um, when I get older and, and stuff, I could, I could show people that he is a great example of someone that, that fell and rose back up and now he is influencing everybody, including me. So, thank you, Anthony. Thank you, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Thank you, everybody who's helped me, the Red Hot Chili Peppers band. And Anthony, I hope you get better really soon because even though I can't get tickets to your show and even though I'm trying so hard and most likely I won't be able to see you, hopefully I'll be able to see you sometime soon. If not this year, maybe another five years or so. As long as I get to see you guys and as long as I'm able to see my life inspirations, that's all that will matter to me. And bless you. Thank you for everything you've done. And... Stay freaky styly, and I hope that you make music for another 28 years. Thank you, everybody, and I hope this story helped and inspire, if not just one person, maybe many, but as long as it inspires somebody, and I hope they will realize that. Whoever you like, whoever you idolize, just make sure that you always stay true to yourself, and always make sure that there's at least, and there's at least that one person that... You know, even though you don't know them, or they don't know you, or they don't know, or you don't, they don't know that you love them, that you care about them, and you want to make sure that you make them proud. And I'm pretty sure Anthony would be proud of me and all the other Red Hot Chili Peppers fans out there. And yeah, and I'm very proud of him for going through everything he's been through. So thank you so much. I love you all.